So just a quick uh, Cinema 4D tutorial. We're going to create this grass blowing in the wind effect. And it's very simple to achieve. You just have to know the right settings. So I'm just going to start. Uh, I'm going to create a plane. I'm going to go to display, hidden line, so I can see the cross sections. Um, I'm going to create maybe 40 cross sections for the width and height. Now, before we uh, create grass, we need to randomize this a bit because um, if we just add the hair object, which we're going to use to create grass directly, uh, the grass is just going to be very uniform and unrealistic looking. So I'm just going to go to Deformer, Displacer, going to make that a child of the plane. Uh, under Shading, I'm going to choose a noise map, just something generic. Might turn it down a bit. Strength, just a little bit like that. So I'm just going to click on plane and I'm going to go to simulate hair objects, add hair. So even though it's called the hair object, you can still create anything you want, like grass or maybe even uh, structures, buildings. So when you add a hair object, it automatically comes with this uh, hair material. And this material is different because you can basically control bendiness and uh, clumping and kinks. So it actually does affect the geometry. I'm going to first just make this a green color. So I'm just going to go for a green for the root and then for the tip, a lighter green. Um, I'm just going to turn down specular a bit because that grass is just too shiny. So I'm just going to play this back and render. <laughs> so we've got a problem with dynamics and let's just check the material. It's rendering too slow. That's because I'm using the physical renderer. If I just switch to standard, that's going to speed things up. Uh, just make sure anti-aliasing is set to best. Let's render this. And we get pretty much the same result, but much, much quicker. As you can see, the specular is kind of nice. Gives it that kind of wet look, but uh, still too much. I'm going to turn these down, have a look. Still too much. Secondary, maybe. Um, back specular. Okay. That's fine. This grass looks like uh, someone's just stepped on it. So I'm just going to rewind this back and on the hair, I'm going to go to dynamics, the dynamics tab here. And um, rest hold is basically stiffness. So I'm just going to increase this rest hold so it doesn't topple over to um, 30%. Play this back. And it's, yeah, it's funny. I'm just going to make this 60%. Let's play this back. Mm, that's a bit better. It's kind of jittering, but uh, let's render this. The jittering is basically caused by um, the fact that uh, these have kind of multiple segments, these uh, splines, grass splines. So uh, one trick is basically just choose rigid. So the entire strand is basically just stiff doesn't bend in the center or anything like that. If I render this, it's looking a bit better, but there's no kind of curliness or bend. And I'm actually going to do this through the hair material. So I'm just going to double click on it, go to basic and add curl, go into curl and reduce the amount down to 10, per, uh, 10 degrees. Sorry. Let's play this back, uh, render. Now we're getting kind of bending. Um, you'll notice uh, it kind of doesn't look very good. This is due to lighting, so you want a minimum of three lights. I'm just going to minimize this. I'm going to create quickly a key light over here. Just move that up. Just put a K, K, K for key light. I'm going to control drag to create a copy. Put that one over here. Make this fill light. F light. This is going to be less intense. So I'm just going to drop the intensity to 25%. Going to control drag the key light again and put it at the back. Um, this is going to be the backlight basically. So B light. Just going to leave that maybe 88%. Uh, the key light turn on shadows ray traced hard. And let's just have a look at this. 
Mm. As you can see, we're getting a bit more kind of detail now in between the strands and it just looks much better. The base, uh, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just going to give it a quick brown material. Apply that to the plane. Uh, turn off reflectance and color, just give it a very dark kind of brown, maybe. See what that looks like. Just don't want it to be distracting. I'm just going to add a background object, which is basically a, a kind of a flat background. Use color on, and I'm going to give it a sky kind of blue. Let's render this. Okay. So one thing I can notice is basically the spacing in between the hairs it looks like it's kind of thinning hair. So I'm just going to go to the hair object and go to hairs and bump this count up to 9000. It's actually really quick to render. And that looks a bit thicker. Uh, if we go to the material, double click, thickness, I'm actually going to increase the root to 1.2 and make the tip 0.2. Have a look at that. Looking a bit thicker, healthier. The rest is basically just kind of uh, playing with the hair material. So I'm going to add maybe some clumping, kind of adds randomization. What does that look like? So some hairs are kind of clumping together. Uh, might just reduce, reduce some values, um, add some twist maybe, bend. Bend, I'm just going to give them really small values and twist, just give it tiny little value just to give everything some variation and I'm going to go to um, forces now here we can add some turbulence so I'm just going to go to simulate think, uh, particles and turbulence go back to my hair to forces and I'm going to drag and drop this turbulence set the mode to include instead of exclude if we play this back you should um, you should see the hairs kind of blowing in the wind. It's a bit difficult to see. We might have to cache this, but um, first I'm going to go to turbulence and strength. I'm just going to reduce down to two, and the scale is basically um, the larger the scale, the kind of more area it's going to cover and maybe, sorry, I'm going to increase the strength to about 20 centimeters so I can actually see some movement. Yeah, you can see them kind of gently swaying in the wind. If you want a kind of quick preview, you can just always uh, do a quick cache. So now once we play this back, we're getting a much kind of up-to-date uh, idea of how the hair is moving. You can't actually tell fully until you render it, so you might want to do some quick kind of preview renders, just uh, 640 by 480, low quality settings, and just have a look. But um, basically, by playing around with turbulence, these settings, uh, the hair material settings, and also playing with the actual hair object dynamics, you should be able to arrive at a pretty convincing animation, kind of like the one I created at the start of this tutorial. I was just basically using these three panels, dynamics, uh, the hair material options, and turbulence. And that's it. So um, I hope this tutorial was useful. If you liked it, please share it. And thanks for watching.